thought it'd be good to give a overview, an overview of the O3 UV double shot combining ultraviolet blood radiation with major autohemotherapy and then an additional shot at the end. So let's take a look at it. We had a delegation from Ghana come. This is the Honorable Donkor, former Minister of Health of Ghana. They are very concerned about the infections in Africa and wanted to try the therapy. Take a look, see what it's like. First, patient's arm is cleaned, and you can notice that there's a tourniquet there. A 19 to 21 gauge needle is inserted, a blood or butterfly needle, and uh, we have a 60 cc syringe, and we're going to draw that up with blood. It's already been preloaded with about a thousand units of heparin. The line is then clamped off and attached to a prime saline IV line that also has the UV cuvette and machine in line. Blood is added to the saline bag. Some saline has been drained out. And then ozone is added after the blood, about 60 cc's of ozone at 45 micrograms per milliliter concentration. The drip is set to 10 milliliters per minute uh, for the 12 inch uh, ultraviolet unit. The UV light disables the virus and we believe create a vaccine like response in the patient, which takes a day to two for that to occur. But the process is about 20 minutes in that the blood then is given back to the patient. If you want to see the full uh, UBI therapy, you can type in YouTube and then go to DEC 2013 protocol and you can watch the full therapy. But now we wanted to show you at the end of that therapy is the O3 UV double shot. So let's watch that. Hi. What we're going to do today is take a look on how to do what we call the O3 UV double shot. Now we have to imagine our patient is off over to my right here and we are in the last stages of giving our patient his blood and this is going a little fast but it gives you the simulation that the blood is going down through the cuvette which is inside of the machine here and it's turbulating and hopping through a little hub and getting a lot of exposure of the both UVA, UVB, and UVC light. Um, we are going to allow this then to get to the point of coming down where it will actually stop. We've got a couple of other things here. We've got a 20cc syringe. We've got a 19 gauge needle, a 23 gauge needle, and uh, some forceps. So let's go ahead and see how this works now. It's going to come down as it does so often. And you're getting done with your therapy. This has had about 60 cc's of blood, 160 cc's of saline, a little bit of heparin, and we also put into there ozone, 60 cc's of ozone at about a 45 microgram per milliliter. All right, we've stopped here. So what we're going to do is continue to lift this up and get this blood to go back to our patient. One more time. And what I want to do is get it down to this port right here. One more time. And I'm going to grab an alcohol wipe here. So the blood is now down to the port. I'm going to clean that port. I'm going to take a syringe, a 20cc syringe, and I'm going to put on a fairly large, this is a 19 gauge needle. And since I have to push this blood back, I have to put a little air into here. 
I think about 10, 12 cc should do this. I'm also going to close this port down so we're no longer going to be pushing blood back that way. So I'm going to push this blood now back into the machine. All right, now let's take a look at it here. You can see the blood is in the machine. Now what I want to do is make sure that that blood gets a lot of light. So I am going to push this one and then draw it back. Two, draw it back. So I'm only going about three cc's on my syringe. Four, and realize this little be down like this. So it's getting all that light. Five, six. What we're trying to do is make sure that that blood gets well irradiated with the light, the UVC light. We're trying to kill any bacteria or virus. This is kind of a double hit for infections. So after I've done this at least 10 times, that'll give us a good exposure of light. What I'm going to do now is I want to draw this blood right up to now I'll draw a little bit of blood into here. I want to get rid of the air. And I'm going to clamp it shut. I'm going to take this and get rid of it. Now I have already preloaded this syringe with about 5 cc's of ozone. It has about a 20 microgram per milliliter concentration of ozone. And what we're going to do is we're going to prepare this. It's pretty easy to do. <clears throat> I'm going to take this syringe. It's already got the gas in it. And now I'm going to draw up. Oops, got to take my clamp off, of course. And of course your patient is still connected over there, which is fine. About 5 cc's of blood. I've got a fairly small needle on here, so I can re-inject this back into the patient. So as soon as I get upward of 10 cc's, now I've got the ozone in here. I can mix that ozone and blood, take about um, 30 seconds of just taking it back and forth. Some like to shake a little stronger, but again, we, we don't have to recap our needle and we don't want any of this squirting out. All right, at this point, I am ready to take this. I can uh, prepare an IM shot into the patient. This can be injected in. The fluid can be injected in. It's now loaded with ozone and with UV light. It will cause a different kind of stimulation once it's injected into the muscle. Now we're finished. We take that blood. We clean the injection point in the gluteal muscle. We inject the five or so cc's of blood back into the muscle. Of course, cotton ball and tape over the puncture wound. And it's done. We do feel that this therapy, with its double action in the immune system, could be very effective in treating uh, dangerous infections.